G'day gamers, this is Dom from Dom Nation Games. Look at all these wonderful toys. Today we're playing Heroes vs Zombies, and we're gonna take Red Skull vs Thanos. They're after the Infinity Stones. It's a rumble in the park. Let's go! Fighting for the living is Red Skull, Crossbones, and Spider Woman. And for the zombies, Thanos, Gamora, and Rocket Raccoon. Okay, before we start turn one, there is a couple of things to do. A few small differences in this game. No minions. They're called minions. There's walkers and troopers, runners and specialists, guards and brutes. In this game, they're called minions. They do not spawn in buildings. Every building is already open. Bystanders automatically spawn in this game. I randomly placed four bystanders on the board and we have Sharon Carter, Nick Fury, Howard the Duck, and Bob, Agent of Hydra. So each of these bystanders automatically spawn and in a team, team versus team game they do not move and if they are a melee bystander such as Sharon Carter and Nick Fury they do not try to attack so no attacking no escaping no moving at all for bystanders we have one two three four there ready for the zombies Zombies can devour a bystander without having to roll any dice. They just instantly devour a bystander in a team vs team game. Rolling no dice and do not need to worry about targeting priority either. They basically eat them the same as a hero would save them. With that being said, bystanders are spawned. Also in this game, your heroes, who always have only three hit points, your zombies only get three hit points. They do not get the five that they would get in single player mode. Heroes get to choose one of three base tokens. You have base, base, base. This row of zones is their, their base side of the board. So let's have one in each. We will put them leader can go in the middle red skull in the middle crossbones will take the left wing and spider woman will take the right wing in the zombie side of the board thanos in the middle rocket down the right wing gamora down the left wing another small difference in this game we get a few already spawned minions so we have a couple of runners on the zombie side walkers on the zombie side and brutes on the zombies side. I should also point out that these minions do not try to attack bystanders, do not try to attack heroes. They will straight up beeline for the enemy's territory. Their only objective is to get to the opposite sides of the board. If they make it across, you will get one victory point. Victory points are how we win in a game of player versus player. Whoever gets to 43 first will be the winner. Each of these spawn zones does still spawn enemies, but all extra activations, superhero spawns, escorted bystanders, hidden bystanders, 
Troopers Open Fire, Multiple Man Multiplication, Overdrives and Airdrops have been removed from the piles. So they are straight up spawn cards only. Okay, to see who goes first, we flip the Avengers token. A healthy Avengers token is the healthy heroes. A damaged Avengers token will be the zombies. Zombies lead the charge. All zombies gain one hunger. Top of the turn order for the zombies will be Gamora. Gamora will straight up head for the objective on the left wing. One, two, three actions to move into that zone. For the heroes, everybody powers up one. Leading the charge will be Spider Woman. Spider Woman will take one, two, Three move actions, mirroring Gamora and going straight for the objective. Next on the zombie roster, Rocket. He shall move one, two actions. Then he shall take an attack on Spider-Woman. When Rocket makes an attack, he uses Arsenal. On a range of one, he has two dice on a three plus. To successfully wound a hero in a game of DVP, you need two successful hits to get one hit point. Rocket rolls a one and a two. No luck. Rocket's turn. Over. Next up on the Heroes roster, we shall go with the Red Skull. Red Skull is going to use his blue ability. By the way, all heroes and zombie heroes can only use their skills once per turn in PvP. But, his blue skill is Teleport. Once during your turn, you may spend one power to select one bystander or superhero within range two and move them one zone ignoring all enemies. So Red Skull shall use his power to teleport Crossbone one zone. And then for himself, he shall move one zone. Two zones. From in this zone, Red Skull is going to make an attack with his Cosmic Cube. On a range two with one dice on a two plus, he will eliminate one of the troopers. A six, Red Skull successfully eliminates one trooper. One trooper eliminated. One experience point for Red Skull. My bad. We are the heroes. Red Skull's too used to smashing shield agents. And was supposed to hit one zombie. Still gaining one experience. Red Skull's turn over. Last on the zombies. Thanos, he's just seen what Red Skull did to one of his zombie walkers. So he's going to charge forwards one zone. And then he's going to use the Power Stone to shoot into Red Skull Square. He gets three dice on a three plus. That is one hit for his third action. Thanos will take another shot at Red Skull. Another hit. On Red Skull. Red Skull is down to one hit point. And then the last for the turn will be Crossbones. He shall move one, two zones in with Red Skull. 
and then shoot his grenade launcher at Thanos. Five, six, and three. That is one hit point against Thanos. And that is three actions for crossbones. That is all heroes and zombie heroes moved. Minions turn. As the zombie heroes went first, we move zombie heroes minions first. They take the quickest possible route to get into the enemy's territory. All moving however many they move. And heroes minions. I forgot to move this guy. And I also forgot to move this guy. One, two. Once everybody has moved, it is the scoring phase. The team with the most game pieces on each red objective gains three victory points. So, on this red objective underneath Gamora, we have a zombie hero and a brute. So that is three points to the zombies. In this zone, we have a brute versus we have a guard, red skull and crossbones. That is three points to the heroes. In this zone, we have a guard and spider woman versus a brute. So at the end of the turn round, the heroes have gained six points. The zombies have gained three points. Spawns. On each base token, we spawn one walker for the zombies, one trooper for the heroes. And then we draw spawn cards, starting with the green zone on the zombies, Two more walkers in the middle, three more walkers, and on the right side of the board with rocket, three runners. For the heroes in the blue zone, six troopers in the middle, one guard. On the left side, two specialists. Spawns complete. Avengers token. Moves to zombie uh, heroes side. One last thing before the heroes do start this turn. The end phase, we gain two living team cards for the living team and two zombie team cards for the zombie team. These are similar to traits, but any player can use them on the corresponding team. When they use them, they gain three experience for using the card. First to act on the hero's turn will be Red Skull. Red Skull is going to use one of the living team cards. Healing Nanobot restores his hit points to three. He gains three experience for using the team card, putting him on four experience. He now takes his first action to power up, putting him on three power. Then using his cosmic cube for two power that he just gained, he is going to attack the brute that is in his square. When he attacks that brute with cosmic cube, he gets one dice plus two dice for the power. We are looking for two plus on the dice. We have a six and a three. Red Skull successfully eliminates the brute 
going to five experience for his third action he is going to use his last power to gain one more dice two dice on the cube he will use cosmic cube to attack Thanos two and five Thanos is down to one it's point Red Skull's turn is over. Zombie's turn. They've all increased by one hunger, putting them all on two hunger each. Thanos is going to once again copy the Red Skull and heal himself with Satiate. Using a team zombie team card, he gains three health. Uh, restores his health to three. Putting Thanos back on three hit points. He will then attack the two troopers in his square. With the power stone, three dice on a three plus, plus two for his hunger, five dice in total, looking for three pluses to eliminate two troopers. Successfully eliminates both these troopers, but increases one hunger. Second action moves to the same zone as Sharon Carter. Third action, devour Sharon Carter. Reducing hunger to zero and giving him the special ability. After performing a ranged attack, you may increase hunger to re-roll any misses. For the heroes, Spider-Woman. She's gonna make a martial arts attack against the brute. She will get three dice on a four plus. Going to use one power to increase it to four dice. Four, three, one, one. Unfortunately, she misses. But using her blue skill, Venom Blast, after attacking with martial arts, you may spend one power to move all enemies in your zone into an adjacent zone. So using her last power, putting her down to zero power, Spider-Woman will take this little brute here and blast it over here with the runners. Spider-Woman will then use this team card here, Assemble. You and another superhero within range two gain two power. Within range two, we have Red Skull and Crossbones. We are going to gain three experience for using this. We are going to gain two power and Crossbones is also going to gain two power. For her second action, she will then draw a heroic trait. Ambush, spawn one walker in your zone, then draw another trait card. One walker shows up in Spider Woman's square. And then the next trait card she draws is dash. Discard when moving, spend one, spend any amount of power to move that many additional zones. Lovely stuff. Third action, going to attack that walker. Three dice for martial arts. Looking for a four plus to eliminate one walker. Three, three, and one. Does not eliminate the walker. Next up, we have Gamora. Gamora is going to take a God Slayer attack. Two dice and a three plus. She gets to try and attack the guard that is in her square. She gets two additional dice for hunger. And she also has critical strike. When attacking with God Slayer, each roll of six deals two hits to a single enemy. So, Gamora rolls. Two, two, six, and three. That is bloody lucky. One experience, second action. She will move forwards. Third action for Gamora. She will take another attack. We are looking for three pluses to attack two specialists. Three, three, four, and six. Gamora successfully eliminates two specialists. That is an extra two experience, putting her on three. Next to act will be the last hero for the turn, Crossbones. 
with his blue skill explosive shot. When you attack with grenade launcher, you may replace your base dice with one die for each enemy in the target zone before any bonuses, ignoring zombie heroes for this attack. So from the zone he's in, he's going to attack this zone and get one, two, three dice for the three walkers. And then he's going to use two power to jack it up to a five dice total, four pluses to take out three walkers. We only eliminated one walker. For his second action, he will shoot into that square again, using only two dice for the grenade launcher this time. Four pluses, a four and a one. Successfully eliminates a second walker. Two experience for his third action. Crossbones will do the same again, shooting into that square. Five and six successfully eliminates the third walker. Three experience for crossbones, three actions, turn over. Last to act for the zombies, we have Rocket. In a square with three runners and two troopers, Rocket is going to blast those two troopers. He has two dice for his arsenal, and two dice for his hunger. We are looking for three pluses against the troopers. Successfully eliminates both troopers, but gains one hunger and two experience. Rocket will then use a team card. Activate all friendly minions in your zone, gaining three experience for using that puts him on five experience and these runners instantly go one, two zones, two zones up past spider woman down the side of the board here. For Rocket's second action, he is going to make an attack against spider woman. Attacking against spider woman using arsenal, two dice on a three plus plus two, Three dice for his hunger, giving him a five dice total. We have, we successfully score one hit against Spider Woman, but we go up a hunger, making Rocket ravenous. Minions turn. Moving first will be for the heroes. We have one, Two have successfully made it. One, two, he successfully made it. The guard moved forwards one. This trooper moves forwards one. This guard moves forwards. This trooper moves forwards. Trooper. And this is where it gets confusing. We have a trooper goes one, two, he successfully made it. A guard moves one in with rocket. And then troopers. One, two, three, four, five. Six troopers or move in with Spider Woman. Zombies turn. One, two, three. Successfully make it. One, two. Successfully make it. He goes over to here. Zombie moves forwards one. This zombie moves forwards two into there. Guard moves in. Uh, brute moves into there. Trooper moves. Uh, okay. Walker moves forwards to there. Walker moves forwards to the base zone. Another runner makes it to the base. Another two walkers make it into the base. The brute 
moves forwards with Gamora. The walkers move forwards. The walker moves forwards. For the heroes, we have one, two, three, four minions successfully made it across, gaining them four points, putting them on 10. And then they have the most on one objective. That gives them another one, two, three, putting them on 13. And the most on that objective, putting them on 16. Ah, what's going on with my clicker? 16. So that is 16 for the heroes. The zombies have the most on this objective, giving them three. Puts them on six. And then have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten have crossed the line, putting them also on sixteen. At the end of turn two, both teams sixteen. Spawn zones. Each hero base gets one trooper. And then the blue zone. Two more troopers. Middle zone, three more troopers. Left side with Gamora, two guards. Zombies, green zone, one runner. Middle of the board, four walkers. In with rocket, two more walkers. End phase. Rocket takes a wound because he is ravenous, putting him on one hit point. And both teams take two more team cards. Avengers token goes to Zombie's side. Rocket shall go first. All the hungers have gone up. All the tokens have gone green. Rocket is going to try and devour this guard right here with four dice for hunger plus one dice for a devourer attack. We're looking for four plus. Rocket successfully devours this guard, taking him back down to zero on the hunger bar and up one more experience, six experience for Rocket. For a second action, Rocket is going to use Arsenal and attack the troopers that are in with Spider-Woman. Two dice because he has no hunger. A three and a two. He successfully eliminates one trooper, putting him on seven experience, meaning he is now yellow. For a third and fourth action, Rocket will move into here. Next to act will be Crossbones. Everybody's gone green and gained one power. Crossbones will do the same as before and attack into this square with all the walkers. So instead of using two dice for his grenade launcher, Explosive Shot will give him one, two, three, four, five dice. Plus taking two extra dice for his power, giving Crossbones a total of seven dice. We're going to try and blow us up some walkers. We successfully eliminate four walkers. One, two, three, four. Crossbones is also yellow. For his second action, he will take another shot into that square with the walker. Two dice for the grenade launcher. Two balls successfully eliminates the last walker. Then for his third and fourth action, he's going to move into the enemy's base. When you're on the enemy's base objective, you can use one action. He doesn't have one left, but next turn he can use one action to pick a minion type on his team and they all instantly activate. Back to the zombies. Thanos. 
We'll turn around, see this guard here. He does not want this guard here to make it into that base zone. So he's gonna blast him with the power stone. Four dice looking for two, three pluses. Successfully, bang, blows the guard away. One experience, the Thanos. For his second and third action, he moves in with these two walkers into the square with the objective. For the heroes, Red Skull over here needs to stop. There's a brute over here with Gamora that's about to make it into their base. So Red Skull is going to move one, two zones in with Nick Fury and then attack the brute that's in with Gamora. He will use the power to gain one dice. With two dice we're looking for two, two pluses to eliminate that brute. Red Skull eliminates the brute. That's one more experience putting Red Skull on six. Last on the zombies turn is Gamora. Gamora is going to attack those two beefy looking guards in her square. Four two dice plus three dice for the hunger. Looking for four three pluses or two sixes because of the critical strike. We eliminate both guards. But we also got a one which means she goes up one hunger, making her ravenous. Two experience puts her up to five experience. For a second and third action, Gamora is going to move over to the base square with the trooper. Last to activate for the heroes is Spider Woman. What a babe. She is going to use Go Go Go! It's a team card. Activate all friendly minions in your zone. So she gets free experience putting her on six. And she instantly activates all of these troopers in her zone. One, two, three, four, five troopers will all move forwards. We will put the walkers at the front and the troopers at the back so they're heading to the right directions. Then for one action, she will also jump into that square with them. For two actions, she is going to take an attack against the two walkers in that square. Three dice, plus she's going to use two power, putting her down at one power. Five dice for Spider Woman, looking for four pluses. Yep, we successfully eliminate the two walkers. Put in Spider Woman up to eight experience. With two more actions, she's going to go back one and across one. Zombies went first this round, so zombies minions are moving first. One makes it. Two makes it. None. One goes forwards. None, one, two, and one. So that's two experience to the zombies that have crossed the border. Heroes, minions, one moves forwards, one moves forwards, 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 forwards. Oh, I forgot to move this guy out of the building. This one moves over here. These guys move here and five make it. Five troopers cross the border for the heroes, putting them on 21. And then controlling objectives, we have Thanos successfully controls that objective, giving three more experience to the zombies. But the troopers and the troopers, so another six experience uh, six victory points to the heroes. At the end of turn three, heroes are ahead 27 versus zombies 21. 
Zombies are spawning first in the green zone. We are now yellow for both teams. So three runners in the green zone, three brutes in the middle, two more runners on the outside. For the heroes in the blue zone, six troopers. In the middle, four more troopers. On the edge of the board, two specialists. End phase, two more team cards each. Plus Gamora is ravenous, so she takes one wound. And the Avenger token moves to the heroes. All heroes have powered up. Leading the charge for the heroes is going to be Crossbones. Using one action, being in the hero's base objective, he will activate and allow all troopers, calling all troopers, to move one extra zone. I've just remembered that I didn't put a trooper and a walker on each of these because they do get that as well and then crossbones would have made them walk but also crossbones is in a zone with one walker so for crossbones second action he is going to attack that walker that is in his square two dice looking for four plus we got him walker down Crossbones on eight. Third action. He notices Rocket inside this building. He's going to use his two power and take a shot at Rocket. Two dice plus two dice for the power. Looking for four pluses. Five, five, one and two. We successfully deal a point to Rocket, which will kill Rocket. When he wipes out Rocket, he gains five experience, putting him on 13, and gains three experience for his teammates. Rocket loses his traits and bystanders if he had any, but he does not, and respawns. But Rocket respawns behind him. Haha, <laughs> eat shit. Crossbones turns around and notices that Rocket's respawned right behind him, and for his last action, We'll take another attack at that sneaky little trash panda. With two dice, looking for two four pluses. Unlucky, he does not hurt Rocket this time. For the zombies, Rocket will take his turn. He sees that there is a trooper in that zone heading for their base. He's going to take two dice, looking for two three pluses. Try and eliminate that trooper. Oh, double one. Goes up to Hunger for his second action. Goes for that Trooper again. Oh, he gets two more dice because of that Hunger. Trooper down. Third action. He moves into the square that the Trooper was just in. And in that square to his right is a whole lot of more Troopers. Rocket is going to try shooting those Troopers. He gets two dice plus two for the Hunger. Successfully eliminates... Oh no, the guard is first. There's a guard there too. Eliminates one guard and two troopers. No, one trooper. One guard and one trooper. Giving Rocket three more experience. On the hero's turn, Spider Woman. Hail Hydra. She is going to move one zone. Into the same zone here as Howard the Duck. Second action. Oh no, no, no. There's a um, walker in that square. So first action, she attacks that walker. Spider Woman gets three dice on a four plus. Successfully eliminates that walker. Then second action, moves in with Howard the Duck. Third action, rescues Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck will give her once per wound. You may spend one power to ignore one wound you would suffer. Fourth action, she will gain a heroic trait. Agile, discard when enemies enter your zone, immediately move one zone, ignoring enemies. Gamora, for one action, will move into the hero's base zone. 
for two actions. We'll activate the hero's base zone and call for all walkers. All walkers will instantly activate. So we have moves into her zone. Two walkers instantly get in and we'll give two victory points to the zombie team, putting them up to 23. Third action for Gamora, she is gonna step in the zone with this trooper. And then fourth, no, there is only three actions for Gamora. Okay, you know what? And then Gamora will use one of her team cards. She gains three experience, putting her on eight experience. The card she uses is set your hunger level to one and heal one of your wounds. So she is no longer ravenous and she is back on three hit points. Third action, Gamora takes a zombie trait. Hunger sprint. Discard when moving, increase hunger by any amount to move that many additional zones. Last to act for the heroes. Red Skull notices Nick Fury and rescues him. Nick Fury has, once during your turn, you may have one other superhero within range two, gain one power and perform one free move action. No one's within the range, but he also instantly powers all the way up to four, which is handy because his next action, second action for Red Skull, will be to shoot this runner for one dice with the cosmic cube plus let's take two power with a three dice total we shoot successfully eliminate the runner for two more actions on red skull we shall move one two down into this bottom corner zone next up is Thanos. Thanos is going to take Three dice from the power stone, two dice from the hunger, and attack the two walkers that are in this square. Looking for three crosses. Thanos goes up, one hunger, but successfully eliminates two walkers. Goes up to five experience. Uh, two troopers, not two walkers. No, it's one trooper and one walker. So we only needed to eliminate one. Huh. So he only goes up one experience. Second action, Thanos moves in with his walker buddy. Third action, there's one, two, three, four, five troopers in this square. With three dice plus three for hunger, a six dice total. Thanos is going to shoot into that square with all those troopers. They are all hit. Hells yeah. Thanos wipes that square clean. Five experience, puts him on nine. Four faction to move. At the end of another turn, all minions move, starting with the hero's turn. So we have one, two. One. One. One, they clear the board. One, he clears the board. One, they all clear the board. One moves to there, to there, and one. Two, uh, three, okay. Zombie minions move. One, two. One. 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 One, two. Scores go up. Another one, two, three, four, five, six for the heroes. Another six for the heroes, puts them on 36, plus another three for an objective. Heroes are on 39. 
Zombies clearly control that square. Goes up another three, puts them on 26. No one controls this square. Spawn zones. Heroes spawn first. One, two and three troopers. With, we're still only yellow. So that's another two runners in the blue square, uh, two troop specialists, two specialists in the blue square, six troopers in the middle, and two guards. Zombie spawns, one walker, two walker, three walkers, and we have in the green square, Two runners in the middle square. We have four more walkers and eight more walkers. It's truth. This square is crowded. You've got six walk troopers going that way. And eight walkers. Going that way. Everybody spawned. Team cards, two more for the living. Two more for the zombies. Avengers token goes to zombies first. With the zombies first, we are going to get Thanos. Thanos is going to use the Horde. Instantly gains three experience and activates all friendly minions in his zone. So these brutes instantly move forwards. For his first action, he will then attack the trooper in his square with three dice plus three for hunger. His hunger goes up to ravenous, but we eliminate the trooper, gaining another experience. Second action, moves in with these two troopers. Third action, attempts to devour that trooper. Successfully devours the trooper, back down to zero hunger, up one more XP. That's a walker, not a trooper. I know I said two, but it was one. Fourth action, he shoots in at Spider Woman. Three dice, no hunger. Successfully deals one wound to Spider Woman. That's his fourth action. But unfortunately for Thanos and the zombies, this is about to be game. Because with Crossbones standing on that hero objective, and for one action, he calls all troopers to move forwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more experience, uh, seven more victory points, easily makes the heroes jump from 39 to over 43. Heroes win. Well, that was me versus me in Clash of the Sinister Six player versus player mode on zombie side. First time doing player versus player. I reckon it was boss. I tried to be unbiased. I tried to play that I didn't know what each team could do. I reckon I did all right. I reckon there was a lot of fun to be had on that board. Looking forward to doing more of these. Please let me know what you think, guys. Please like, subscribe, any comments, any questions. I'd love to hear feedback. Peace out.